your speech, right? <laughs> to be here tonight, I had to hypnotize myself. <laughs> I can't lie to myself. <laughs> Look at this dude, it's like I'm standing beside myself. <laughs> Stay still. <laughs> Y'all want to hear a best man speech, right? Yeah. I got 30 pages of best man speech in this motherfucker. I'm not a good letting people go of. I'm possessive. Always been that way. This may be unnecessary. And I hate to embarrass anybody in here right now. But I just have to be sure that you're sure you know this is B. Dolan. I'm a sage friend. You know, you know that. That was on purpose. Respect. You meant to do that. I respect that even more now. <laughs> I've known B. Uh, Bernard. I've known Bonnie. I've known Bernard for 10 years. At least 10 years, but I think it's almost exactly 10 years. Even though we grew up in adjacent towns. He was living in Smithfield, I was living in North Smithfield our whole lives, and then he moved away to New York. And then we didn't meet one another until 2001. Um, and it's kind of crazy when he came back from uh, New York City that we had to meet because of a national tragedy, such a, which is the Poetry Slam. <laughs> That's how he and I met one another, reading poetry. <laughs> <laughs> and even back then, we, well, he kind of looked like a young Vin Diesel. <laughs> I look like a young David Tell. <laughs> and even though we, like, resembled our own special I person, that. I still noticed something there. And uh, I remember turning around to, uh, while he was reading one day at, at, at the Poetry Slam. To all the girls who are fawning over this Vin Diesel looking motherfucker. <laughs> and I said, you know what? Okay. I was like, we kind of look alike. <laughs> and this girl was like, you wish. <laughs> but you know what? Joke's on her. Because <laughs> that's what happens with life partners. They begin to start looking like one another. <laughs> That's right, Des. Life partners. And I have to admit, he married up. Doesn't make me happy, but I'm happy he's happy. He eventually disappeared for about a year after we first like were acquainted with one another. He becomes the kind of person who's very tough to get in touch with. If he doesn't want to be seen or heard, he just flat out is gone. He was like in a man cave for a year. I don't know if that's when you guys first got together or like I couldn't get in touch with this cat. But when he emerged, he emerged a man on a mission. Uh, he was an MC. He was ready to hit the road. We started a company together and we started doing everything together. We, we have toured this world together. We have ran through airports together. We've gotten in fights together. We've wanted to kill one another together. We were jumped by Wu-Tang Clan together. And we still rock the show. We've slept in beds together. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Stage <laughs> <Speech> two. <laughs>
<laughs> and we, we kind of lost our fathers together. To be fair, I lost mine first. <laughs> so I'm not bragging, but first. <laughs> and I mentioned that because I know yeah. Barney Sr. is in a lot of people's thoughts and hearts and all the people in your family, both of your families who can't be here. Um, I'm sure they're looking on and very proud of what you guys have done for one another and with your own lives, because I never thought it would work out ever. Because <laughs> I did everything possible to make sure it would break. <laughs> no, but honestly, the, the 10 years that I was with him and all that stuff we did together, all the things we shared, crazy stuff. I'll never understand the connection that you guys have. The friendship is incredible. You've been together for this long. B, you did it, man. You win. You got a gorgeous girl, self-sufficient, takes care of the home, can do anything. You run through it like an elephant, she makes sure it doesn't fall down. It's crazy. And she chose to see the Vin Diesel in you. <laughs> Through thick or thin? Mostly thick. <laughs> Desiree. What you got here is a guy who will piss in the tub. <laughs> when you filled it with water, this is a hurricane. But you know what? He's a fast learner. And he will not ever do that again. <laughs> Honestly though, what you have is a man amongst men. Uh, a guy with supreme loyalty. And as touring artists and musicians, you kind of think, ah, oh, you know, maybe they get a little funny on the road or whatever. It's crazy, like, the dude is a stone wall. And there's not too many people like that out there. And he's been awesome, he's been a great friend to me. And I'm happy that you guys are together to, you know, build upon this castle that you've bagged together. Oh, we bag castles. We have our own slang, B and I. We put castles in bags. Every show we do, that's what we do, it's our thing. But you win, Des. You win. So I'd like for this... Oh, we don't have glasses. I was going to give a toast. I do want to get my toast on. We can save that for later. But I'd like for everybody to give a crazy, super hard round of applause to the two newlyweds.